everybody, it's Jen from Jen's Rack, and I am doing day four of the 21 Day Sugar yeah. Detox. Okay, not right now. Uh, anyway, I wanted to update you on how things are going. Uh, first of all, I did wake up today feeling like super low blood sugar, which was kind of weird. Um, but once I ate, I was fine, kind of like yesterday. And that was nice, but it was so strange because today... When I did eat, I ate the chili leftovers from the other day, and I had some water, and then I felt so full, but at the same time, I felt like my sugar was really low, so I decided to go ahead and have some of the green apple that I'm allowed per day. And so I started eating it, and halfway through, I could not, I could not eat another bite. It, I don't know what it was. It was just my body telling me, like, stop. You don't need any more. So I did that, and then I thought, well, gosh, I don't want to just crash, you know, with having that. So I ate four almonds, and I chewed it, and I literally had to make myself swallow it. So that was totally weird. I'm not used to having to try and choke down food, especially considering it was about noon by that time, and I'd only had the chili, which was under 300 calories. So anyway, I'm still counting calories right now, as of now, uh, just to kind of get an idea of what I'm consuming and all that, but... <sighs> it's been strange. So anyway, and then for kind of a really late lunch, because we just had a weird day and I got to sleep in, which was nice. Um, I made some soup and it was uh, chicken stock, like a carton. I mean, I'll be making my own, but I bought a couple of cartons to get us started. So I had a carton of chicken stock, a head of cauliflower, and two carrots, a uh, rib of celery, and then another rib that was mainly leaves, and I put that in there too. And I blended all of that, well, not all of it, I left a couple of chunks. I blended all of that in my Vitamix, and then put it back in the soup. And I also put in a package of bacon bits from Aldi. I had them already, that's why I used them. And I put in two, I had two chicken legs from the other day that I baked, and with the skin on, and I put those in there, and I put in about a cup of cheese, because I had that too, cheddar cheese, and it was really good, like we all really liked it, the only one that didn't like it was Michael, and he's about to turn six, and he's kind of picky with texture, so for him, it was totally disgusting, but for the rest of us, we loved it and ate it up, so that was nice, um, I went to Sprouts today, and I purchased some supplemental stuff, and spent another $200, on food, but this time, sorry, this time I'm going to use the stuff to do kind of a, just supplement, I guess, for the rest of my family, because they're not on a sugar detox, so I got some fruits and that kind of thing, and I found that it was really difficult to find a fruit, like a dried fruit, that was not sweetened, and I hate that. Um, I'm going to have to try and find out another place or just buy them online because there's no reason that cranberries need to be sweetened and there's no reason that banana chips need to be sweetened and that kind of thing. And I figured sprouts would have the unsweetened versions, but they didn't. And like the same with blueberries, dried blueberries, why are they adding sugar to that? So it was kind of frustrating and sort of eye-opening there. Also trying to find a spaghetti sauce, and yes, I know you can make your own, blah, 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 but trying to find a spaghetti sauce that didn't have sugars because we have a huge spaghetti squash that I want to use this week um, and put some yummy meat in there and have that as spaghetti, but if you can't find the sauce, what do you do? So I finally found one, so that was good. It was one of the, like, $6 a piece kind, so we're going to have to really love it. <laughs> I'll put a ton of meat in there. We'll call it good. But... I also bought some almond flour and coconut flour so that I can try out some of the baked food recipes, especially for my family. I would really like to make some pancakes or waffles for them. Um, and speaking of that, for breakfast, I made a cereal type thing for them, and it was a bunch of nuts. It was, I think, walnuts, pecans, and almonds that I kind of chopped up in the Vitamix, but gosh, that went fast. They started turning into butter, which is crazy. So, excuse me, I put in a little bit of that. And then I put in a ton of dried fruit, and then, well, not a ton. I'll say a little bit of different kinds. And then I put in some unsweetened shredded coconut. So I mixed all that together and put it in an airtight container, and that way my husband has something to feed our children in the mornings that's not eggs. And then we can just top that with almond milk, which, since I'm on my sugar detox, I cannot have the fruits and all of that. But if I really wanted to, I could crush up some nuts and put some coconut in there and have cereal as well. So that may be something that I end up doing just to be a quick meal. I also hard-boiled some more eggs. I When we started this on Thursday, I hard-boiled a dozen eggs, and we've gone through all of them. So 
I did that because those are really good on salad and stuff too. Or they make a good breakfast. Anyway, um, the thing I'm really finding with this diet is I'm having a hard time eating enough food. And I don't know if I really even should worry about it, but I've been losing like a pound a day. So right today I weighed in, I'm 134. And I think when I started this, I was 137.8. And so I've been losing a ton of weight off of it, which I'm sure is because I'm not eating carbs. So it's kind of cool because everything I'm eating is highly nutritious. So I don't feel too bad about the weight dropping off, you know, considering I don't have any empty hidden calories in there. Um, yesterday we did go to Golden Corral, and as expected, my children got crazy with their carbohydrates because we let them get what they wanted, like I promised. And so my daughter got, like, macaroni and cheese, garlic toast, um, what all did she get? I'm sorry, my baby's not feeling good. He's got two teeth coming in on the top, so I'm really excited about that. They're so cute, the little little white buds up there. Anyway, but my daughter got that. She got, um, I'm trying to remember what all else she got. Pizza, I think. I mean, there's all sorts of carbs. It was just carb, 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 the whole plate. And I looked at it and I went, oh, great. But then she felt sort of bad later, so she got herself a salad. So that was kind of neat. Um, and some fruit. Um, my sons got pizza. One of them got chicken on the bone. One of them got macaroni and cheese and toast, like Grace did, and um, all of that. But they both had some grapefruit. Michael had two cartons of milk. He's been missing his milk. Um, can't remember what all. And then, of course, all three of them went to the dessert, which I'm so grateful that my husband did that for them because that oh, it would have hurt my feelings to go look at all of it. Um, on one hand, it's like disgust that it's all just junk. And then on the other hand, darn it, I want to have something from the chocolate, chocolate fountain and I want pudding, you know, but anyway, I'm going to let them do what they want to do and just hope that over time they'll make more positive choices. And I think that they will. So that was that. It was interesting. But something that I've been noticing, first of all, my milk supply seems fine. I've been kind of worried about it. And he has been nursing a ton, but I think it's because he doesn't feel good and he's teething. But um, something else that I've noticed is that his eczema, he used to have red splotchy patches all over his back and sometimes on his chest and his tummy. Gone. Totally gone. And I've not eliminated dairy completely, obviously, um, but I guess I've either eliminated it enough or... Maybe it was something else that was irritating him. Maybe the wheat or rice or oats or something. Who knows? So that's been kind of a cool thing. So apparently my husband is also on board with going primal, probably, not paleo or 21-day sugar detox. But I'm kind of excited about that because it just makes it so much easier for the whole family to kind of be on board. So he's on board, and he's trying to do it at work, too, and when he's out with his friends. So that's kind of cool. So I got him a bunch of snacks. There were a bunch of those uh, Lara bars, and I got him some of those. You know, some of them have peanuts, and some of them have other things, but the ones I got him don't. I think cherry pie, the Dutch apple pie, there's a chocolate coconut one, and then Cliff bars have two, and I forget what they're called, but they're like fruit and nut bars, and so I got him a couple of those too. Um, I don't know. We'll see how everything goes. I got some coconut water and a couple different things for us to try, too. So we'll see how it all is and how it all goes and whatever. We got plenty of time. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys, and I will keep you posted on how things are going. All right. Bye.